some of this sodium acetate onto a solid crystal that's on the sheet protector, and we'll see if it turns solid. So let's see if it works. Ah, oh, this is a pretty good batch. Okay, so what you'll see is it's turning solid the second it touches something solid because it's a super saturated, super cold solution of sodium acetate. So you can start to see I'm kind of building up a column. Pretty awesome stuff. This might be one of the best batches we've had. That's so awesome. So we can start to build up this super cool. Now, what's, what's interesting about this is it looks cold, doesn't it? Yeah. We call it hot ice because this is an exothermic reaction. And what's happening is it's actually releasing heat. If I hold my hand over this, it feels warm, not cold. Okay, pretty cool. So we can build up these columns. That's pr this, is a, this is a great batch. You guys are lucky. I think only first period yesterday, no, second, third period yesterday saw it as good a batch. Now what's cool is I'm going to touch the beaker to the column. And if you can imagine, we're providing a solid crystal. Actually, I might even try this with my hand. Okay, I'm just going to touch with my finger, which gives it a solid seed to bond to. And what you'll see start to happen, look at my finger now, and now look in the inside the beaker. Instantly, it's going to say, I'm going to turn all of this stuff solid. Because it's a super saturated solution. This is a very What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually let this touch the beaker. You don't want to predict what's going to happen? Oh! Start a little, uh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Got a little too high. But we're going to, Ryan, what would you predict is going to happen? Um, it'll turn back into the liquid. So you think this will turn back into the liquid. Interesting. So I'm going to kind of let this touch. So what you can kind of see happening is it's going down that beaker, and now all of that. And now it's going to touch that, and in a second here, I'm going to have a whole solid. Oh, my God. So if you can kind of see that. So much so. Oh, that's a good batch. And if you can even see, now it's going back up the other side. I was just talking about, called sodium acetate, okay? And what's in here is just... um. A boiled down, almost like salt water, but not quite. It's a little bit different. Okay? Um, and what happens is soon as it's super saturated. So that means it's got so much of the solvent, uh, uh, solute in it, uh, that it can't take any more. And one solid crystal will turn it back solid. Uh, so what's cool is I have a few solid crystals of it right here on this piece of paper, or on this sheet protector. You can see what happens when this touches that. Yes. I did this thing for a science fair experiment. Nice. That's awesome. Pretty tough to get to work, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. So let's try it. So here's uh, what we call hot ice. Okay. As soon as it touches, it's going to start turning solid. Okay. Um, so what's kind of cool is you can start to build up columns with this stuff. Now there's definitely a reaction that's happening here. Okay, kind of cool. If you put your hand next to this, um, you'll feel heat is released, uh, which is why it looks like it's cold, doesn't it? It looks like it's freezing, like our weather outside. But what's really happening is it's um, releasing heat. And specific reactions that release heat are called exothermic reactions. So you can kind of see that's pretty cool. Uh, to see that start to build up like that. Give it a spot. Now here's a little solid piece to start on. Maybe not. Oh, there it goes. You see, I, I gave it a little oh, wow. seed there. Whoa. It's in the middle, and it's going to start uh, crystallizing out in all directions until it's totally solid. Whoa. It's called sodium acetate. It's fairly safe. It's almost like salt water, but not quite. It's in like Don't drink it. It's pretty cool. What's this one called? It's in hand water. This one's called hot ice. And I like what you say. It looks really cold. It looks like it's a cold freezing thing happening, but this isn't freezing. It's just turning into a solid. Um, 
And in fact, the beaker gets very warm because this is an exothermic reaction as well. And so uh, pretty cool that um, this solution is so close to being solid, all it takes is one little crystal seed and it will completely turn into a solid. Can you very touch touchy stuff. Can you touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. That's it's, solid? Um, what's that? Like, there's it's no water. solid. Yeah, I can dump it and no liquid's coming out. I don't want to let the solid fall out, but yeah, it's uh, just a little bit left. And what's left is probably actually water and not uh, the sodium acetate. What's cool is you can make sodium acetate from home. All you need is baking soda and vinegar. And when you mix it and that CO2 bubbles start, all that white chalky substance that's left over is actually sodium acetate. You would take that, kind of like this, boil it down, like Miss Ryan has going in the corner. We're trying to, it's reversible. So if you just reheat this up at such a low melting point, it will turn back into that uh, liquid form and then we can keep going back and forth, solid to liquid.